What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we took like a 20-minute episode video, whatever, to take a visit of this whole big old mall, Mallville. Yeah, hence the name Mallville and all that stuff. And we found a, a, quite a few things here and there and all that stuff. And now we're going to be taking a nice trip to west right here of uh, Mallville City because we got some training to do yeah Mallville is home to Watson yeah the electric type gym leader and uh, well for first is first you're gonna be finding the Pokemon daycare right here that means well you can actually uh, you can actually breed your Pokemon and all that stuff homeboy right here is telling us that he'd like to raise Pokemon I should have a word with his wife right there so off screen I did uh, go back into the Pokemon bank and I actually got myself a ditto just in case for this situation because yes I will be breeding some Pokemon that way I can complete the Pokedex right here that was one of the funnest things about this game right here is that you know completing the Pokedex was a challenge but you can also breed the Pokemon as well so let's move on right ahead right here and uh, well let's see it seems that nobody has claimed that as a secret base right now so that's pretty good and, uh, well, let's see. We're going to be using Yokozuna right here. The Yokozuna. And, uh, you know what? We got to get Raiden up to par right here because now we've, uh, now we got quite a few evolutions. We still got Hydra number two to evolve. And, well, as you can see, my lovely teammate and I will team up to defeat you. I want to show my cute teammate how strong I am. Alrighty. Okay, so here we go. Challenge by Anna and Meg. And they will be coming out with both a Zigzagoon and Makuhita. They got their own Yokozuna. It's probably a Rikishi or a Maga. I don't know. One of those two cousins right there. So here we go. We're going to be using uh, the Vital Throw. It will never miss. And uh, you know what? Let's go with that Spark Attack to Makuhita. Even though it will probably withstand it and everything. So here we go. Bam. Not that big. Here comes that headbutt, not that strong, and here we go, vital throw. Sounds so good. Bye bye, Zigzagoon. Oh yes, gotta love that. Oh yeah, Yokozuna gaining levels, Raiden gaining levels, and uh, well, here comes that whirlwind attack. He probably did me a favor right there. And yes, he did because he just brought out Sage of the Halo right here. So let's go right ahead and use that Leaf Blade. That's right, Sage of the Halo. Going with the Leaf Blade, and, uh, well, bam! Makuhita is no more. Hell yeah! Okay, alrighty, look at that, my Pokemon are kicking ass, taking names, and, uh, getting a little moolah while we're doing this right here. That's awesome. Now, my favorite part about this whole route right here, Route 117, is that these Pokemon trainers in this, uh, general, uh, area, they will want to battle you every single time, so... <laughs> Who needs a rare candy cheat when you got all these trainers wanting to battle you? They all want that smoke. That's right. They all want that smoke. And, uh, well, we can also get some uh, berries right here, too, while we're at it. You know, not not, not, not our, 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 our rival berry, you know, that guy that we don't like. Just berries and all that stuff. And uh, let's grab this right here. And uh, there you go. Found yourself another peanut berry right there. And, uh, well... Since I do know the area pretty well right here, it's a good way to test out Raiden right here because they do have uh, flying type Pokemon right here. So I'm going to be battling this triathlon athlete. I'm in the middle of a triathlon, but whatever. Let's have a battle. Alrighty. Bring it! So here we go. Triathlete Dylan would like to battle, and he's coming out with his Doduo. Alrighty. You're not so scary. You're not so scary at all. Here we go. The Lord of Thunder, Raiden. Now, I could have called this Pokemon Thor, but it seems everybody's calling every, uh, their, their electric track Pokemon Thor. I think you need a very specific Pokemon to be called Thor, you know? Not just electric, but you got to give an aura and... Ooh, crap. Okay, so that, that right there was bad. That was bad. That was bad. Okay, so now i got to switch out my Pokemon right here. And, uh, well, let's go with Toxic Batman right here. Now, if you guys remember in the last episode, Toxic Batman did evolve. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, fuck me, huh? Okay, so, like I said, we're going to be switching out to Toxic Batman because Raiden is still a little weak. And, uh, yeah, we are still trying to evolve Toxic Batman right here. 
through happiness and all that stuff. And luckily for us, we do have a revive. And I'm very, very generous when it comes to the revives and all that stuff. So, here we go. Rage attack on us. And, uh, man, that's nothing right there. So, here we go. Steel wing attack. Oh, yes. You got those peck attacks? I got steel. Look at that. And it nearly takes you out. And, uh, well, we're increasing their attack every single time. And, uh, oh, crud. Oh, crud. Okay, that's two. Hey, come on. Stop hitting me, man. Come on. That's three times. Okay, so let's go with a bite attack. Let's get this going. And, oh, crud. Yeah, this doe duo... It's a little strong. It will become a lot stronger later on when you keep on battling these people right here. Again, my favorite spot out of the whole place. Out of, uh, possibly Hoenn. It, it kind of sounds cheesy, but it is a very, very cool, a uh, very good place to actually train your Pokemon. Not just because of these trainers, but, you know, the Pokemon breeders and the, and the, the, the Pokemon daycare as well. And, uh, well, let's see. Now, I don't want to be dirty or anything, but doesn't that look like a little something? I'm just asking. I really am. So, let's go right ahead and uh, heal up my Pokemon first. Let's see. Um, that's not the right stuff right there. So, let's go use a super, uh, potion right here. Waste those potions. And give that to Toxic Batman. There we go. Another 20. Okay. The training continues. Let's go right ahead and talk to this beautiful lady right here. Oh, she's looking at us. Like, I'll make sure if you, uh, I'll make sure you're you've been training your Pokemon right. Alrighty, let's go. Here we go. Pokemon breeder Lydia would like to battle, and she is coming out with the right Pokemon against me. That's right, Wingle. Enter Raiden, the Lord of Thunder, right here. Now let's go with a Spark attack. And uh, yes, I did not get hit by that. Uh, by that supersonic and look at that takes out wingle one hit ko finally a victory look at that and uh, more experience for everybody and she will be coming out with the shroomish so i know how to deal with this pokemon right here let's see where are you let's go toxic batman now i'm gonna keep on saying this on every single episode guys because i have to it's a, it's a bit of a dis uh, disclaimer probably should do that in the beginning in the next few episodes or something but please do excuse uh the lagginess sometimes of, of this game right here or the gameplay uh, if you guys remember from the first episode I had to play the Japanese version for like about 10 minutes just to get the internet the internet option right here onto the gameplay and all that stuff going back to the American version yeah that's how it works with Pokemon games here so if you guys are looking for any kind of like uh, capture cards for your Pokemon games and all that stuff and you have something with homebrew just a reminder a nice reminder or just a heads up that you know homebrew you have to turn on the in-game internet for this uh, uh, for this gameplay to work that's why you know I had to use the Japanese version on uh, on, on episode one and then it, I think it was episode three or four where the last part we just yeah it just froze now a lot of you guys know that I'm a big perfectionist and all that stuff and uh, yeah it was eating at me just because, oh my god, I, I, I really don't want to make any mistakes on my walkthroughs. But, you know what, I didn't want to, I didn't want to go back and do the whole thing all over again just to get it perfectly. Instead, I, uh, you know, I learned from the mistake. I'm actually getting a, getting the hang on how to, uh, how to actually make this whole thing run. Uh, right now, I'm looking at the NTR viewer that I'm actually playing this game on. And it's at 90, 99 uh, quality, so that that's actually good. And sometimes when, I don't know, other people in my general vicinity is actually using the internet, like, you know, my roommate or anything like that, that's when, you know, the quality goes down a little. So it's kind of like uh, if you guys are playing Xbox or PS4 or anything like that. So there we go. A little bit of a rant about that. And uh, she's coming out with a Goldeen. All righty. Okay, Raiden. Time to take care of business right here. You're, you're going to be in level 20 in no time right here. And here we go. Spark attack. Oh, man. Nearly took that out. And, uh, well, that avoided everything. Okay. So here we go again into the spark attack. Come on. You got to be stronger than that. And, yes, you are paralyzed, you a-hole Pokemon. All righty. Okay. So here we go again. Another spark attack. It's going to be using up all its spark right here. Now... Another thing, too, that I've, I've, I've noticed, 
is that yes, the background that I'm using for Pokemon uh, for for this game right here, it's not it's not it's not like the it's not like the uh, regular gameplay that I usually come out with. You know, it has the teams, the the gym badges, and all that stuff. It's not like that. It's because and I'm just gonna say this right now. It's the reason I haven't or I didn't like super decorated this whole thing is because this right here is a remake game and I did state at one point that for remake games or hack games I'm not going to be doing any kind of like background special backgrounds or anything except for maybe Pokemon uh, what was it Omega Ruby Alpha Zapphire and that's because you know you need two screens that way you guys can see what exactly it is I'm doing uh, of course there's gonna be some options onto this game right here where you know you actually need a little bit of a you know a you, you guys need to see what's going on, like uh, the the VR seeker or whatever it's called. I don't even know. Like later on into this whole walkthrough, I will be hunting for some rare Pokemon, rare moves, and all that stuff too. Uh, that's why I haven't been capturing a lot of Pokemon right now because I kind of want to save that for a little bit later on. I might be might be uh, capturing like some Pokemon of the same caliber or same Pokemon and all that stuff, but they might have some awesome moves. I wanted to capture Taylo that had a hurricane or a sonic boom, not sonic boom, but some kind of a awesome move and all that stuff. But you know, it was gonna take a lot of my time, and right now my time I need to actually, yeah, I need to, yeah, time I actually need to make this walkthrough for you guys. As of right now, everything is going well, and bam, defeated this lady right here. So, who is next right here? But we got a, quite a few trainers right here, so. Let's go right ahead and, uh, well, finish off these potions right here. And, uh, well, hold on. Let me get this Yokozuna right here. And, uh, well, we got a bug trainer right here. What is this kid doing? No, he's not going to battle us. He's like, the air is tasty here. Oh, that's good. All right, let's go right ahead and talk to this guy. Once a bug catcher and now a bug maniac. But my love for Pokemon remains unchanged. Okay. All righty. All right, so here we go. Bug Maniac Derek wouldn't like to battle, and he's coming out with his Ninkata. Ninkata. Okay, here we go. Let's see what you got. Bring it on. Now, Ninkata does have a, a bit of a ground type capability on it, so we're gonna be switching it out to. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go with Toxic Batman again, and uh, well, let's see how, how how that's gonna work out right there now. I will be doing a little bit of a shout out right here just to give you guys a bit of a, uh, uh, you know, just to involve you a little bit since you guys have been so supportive of my walkthroughs, especially right now since, uh, <clears throat> yeah, COVID-19. Yeah, annoying. COVID-19, that asshole you. Now, the first shout out right here, the first shout out right here, on to the Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Hold on just a sec. Talks of Batman, grows to level 23, that's good. Raiden, that is awesome. Sage grows to level 26, which is good. And, uh, well, he's coming out with a dust talk. So, let's go right ahead and take care of that business with some Raiden right here. Okay, so first shout out. Now, I will be doing this probably every single episode. Almost every single episode. So if you guys want a shout out, comment down below. I already have like a nice list of who I want to shout out. And you've probably already gotten a shout out and uh, another walkthrough out there. And crud! Yeah, you guys are. Right, you, the suspense is killing you right now. Okay, so the first shout out right here goes to Team Tackage 2. Team Tackage 2. It says it right there on the screen. Now, the reason I'm shouting this guy out is because he he made well he made a nice comment, a very very nice comment that you know. That, that made a lot, well, not made a lot of sense, but it was kind of a, it was very, very thoughtful, and I, you know, I kind of appreciate it. It was the fact that, you know, he was looking for a different, like, a uh, PokeTuber out there that didn't sound all fake or all super energetic and all that stuff or with the annoying voices and all that stuff. I get it. I've been through it myself. Sometimes I have a, you know, I have, sometimes I have a way of speaking right here on, on walkthroughs. I mean, I like to cuss a lot. I mean, in the beginning, I tried to tone that down, but yeah, that's not really me. I do have a, uh, a mouth of a sailor, so I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, avoid so many cuss words because 
uh, it's not just the young kids, but my niece is also watching, and my niece also makes me put quarters in the in the swear jar that I have, including uh, at the at the school that I coach at. So that's what I try to do. Try to tone it down. Um, I try not to try not to sound super hype or hyper excited and stuff because that to me sounds a little fake right there. Um, I know I don't know if many of you guys like that. I don't know, but. There are some Poketubers out there that just like, they, they, they go overboard with the, the excitedness of all this stuff right here. That's why I try not to, you know, sound a little too fake or anything. I am who I am. I do what I do. My vocabulary is not that big. It's not that small. It's just right there in a the bit in the middle. And would you look at that? Hydra number two grows to level 20. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Bug Maniac. So before I continue on, let's go ahead. Oh, wait, there's two evolutions. Holy crud. Okay, Yokozuna evolving into Rikishi or Umaga. May they both rest in peace. Actually, hold on. Yokozuna and Umaga are the ones dead. My bad. Rikishi's still alive. And would you look at that? Hariyama. So that's one evolution right there. We got a tank of a Pokemon right here. And uh, here we come with another Digivolution, Hydra number two. Okay, look at that. Now, I get a lot of you guys don't really, didn't really like the fact that I didn't show the chain capturing of, of this Pokemon right here. Again, my time is my time. Didn't really want to waste the time. So I just caught the, uh, the, the Pokemon and there it is. Hydra number two evolves into the Red Gyarados, a Pokemon that I've been wanting to use since Pokemon Crystal right here. Look at that. Level, well, level 20. So let's go ahead and take a look at our two new Pokemon right here. Let's see. So let's start off with Yokozuna right here. Yokozuna, fighting type Pokemon only. Now it has a lot of attack and it has thick fat. That's right. Thick fat, two C's. That's right. Two C's with the fat. P H A T. That's right. It's a sexy bitch right there. And, uh, well. It's not that speedy, but it does have that major attack and good defense. Thick fat right here, of course, boosts uh, as resistance from fire and ice type moves. So it won't get frozen or it won't get burnt. That's something good right there. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at Hydra number two, the Red Gyarados. It's a very good Pokemon. Intimidate lowers its attack and all that stuff. That's a good Pokemon right there. I have plenty of plans for this Pokemon right now. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's see. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and battle this chick right here. Okay, oh, that's a dude, my bad. <laughs> hey, could I get a battle with a Pokemon uh, I'm, that I'm raising? Yes, sir, I can. Now, uh, let's see, going back to the whole, the shout out to, hold on just a sec, I gotta get his name again, my bad. My bad, buddy. Uh, team, takeage, takeage two. Again, I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name, man. So, what I try to do is I try to be genuine. I try not to make so many, uh, try not to say so many stupid things, even though that's like an everyday thing for me. Uh, one thing that like, if I, if I had to tell you a little bit of a pet peeve for myself when it comes to Poketubers and everything like that, I really don't like it or I really hate it when, uh, the, the, well, when the, uh, the, uh, well, the, the, the Poketuber smacks his lips every single time, makes that noise. That, like, it, it bugs the hell out of me. I don't know why, it just bugs the hell out of me. And some YouTubers out there do that every single sentence. It's, it's just freaking annoying to me. That's why, like, some Pokemon, uh, so, some PokeTubers, I can only take them in small doses because all I hear is that smacking of the, of the lips and stuff. And then, uh, well, I know I say do it for the bitches. And, uh, let's see, what else? Do it for the bitches, for the win, and all that stuff. I guess those are catchphrases and all that stuff. But if it's annoying, I try to tone it down sometimes. You know, it, it, it's, it's just what it is right there, guys. So, again, Team Takeage 2, thank you for, you know, thank you for the, the sub. Thank you for the, the great comments that you've been leaving in there. I believe we had a nice or a little conversation about what happened to my old channel. And if you guys are new or anything like that, uh... Yeah, I did have a Gym Leader Draven channel, old old but new Gym Leader Draven channel. Uh, this channel right here was Draven XE711. Went to the uh, new Gym Leader Draven channel just because, you know, I kind of wanted to restart again. Mid-December, bam, it gets hacked, gets deleted. 
had to return here, change it to gym leader driven again, and uh, I, from what I, from what it looks like right now, it's probably the best decision that I've made, mainly because I'm starting to see a growth in subscribers. Um, well, one one reason is because of COVID-19. The other one is because, of course, uh, you know, I, I'm doing a lot more better when it comes to the quality of my videos. I'm actually, like, you know, focusing on one walkthrough and just finishing it in, like, two to three months, max, probably, like, eight months. That was Pokemon Platinum and all that stuff. But, yeah, we had that conversation. Let everybody know that, yeah, this used to be a different channel and all that stuff. So... Again, thank you for the great comments, and uh, continue watching my videos. I hope I don't annoy you someday or anything like that. And then, uh, yeah, everybody else, if you guys want a shout out right here on one of my videos, I'm planning on doing that, trying to get you guys involved, because I already know that you guys are, like, uh, a little bored because of this whole COVID-19 thing. I just, uh, well, where I live at, they just extended again to May 6th, so that means load of uh, Pokemon videos coming out a lot more hopefully I don't get burnt out or anything like that so again guys comment down below if you guys want a shout out uh, ask me a question if you guys have a question about me or anything like that I'll, I'll take the time to just you know talk about it right here while I'm doing this whole thing right here this episode is mainly uh, you know a training episode yeah a training episode so there's not much to it right now as you can see, Yokozuna kicks ass, takes the whole screen right there, and here we go with Toxie Batman. Okay, Toxie Batman. Get this mini Yokozuna out of my face. Let's go, air cutter. Ah, crud. You gotta love that fake out, though. Yeah, and uh, crud misses. Okay, so here we go again, air cutter for the cruddy win. God dang it. Okay, so... What the hell is... How in the hell is that big tank avoiding my air cutter? I don't know. 95% uh... Okay, there we go. Yeah, it does have a 95% <laughs> kind of thing. So there we go. Makuhita has fainted. Eat it. There we go. That's how you do it. And uh, here he comes out with a Poochiena. So let's go back to Yokozuna right here. Let's take care of business. Yokozuna. Now, I could have named Yokozuna Rikishi or Umaga. And it, kind of, it looks like a sumo wrestler, so, you know, Yokozuna. It makes so much sense right there. Eventually, I might bring out Umaga and Rikishi, since they're all cousins and all that stuff in the real wrestling world. And here we go. Vital throw for the win. That's how you do it. And look at that. Catchphrase. <laughs> and uh, that is how you do it right there. Okay, so yes, I raised my Pokemon superbly well. Okay, so I'm going to pause it right here for just a little bit because I need to get a Pokemon out. I need to switch out because there, there, there are a few items around here that we need to get. So I'll be right back, guys. Okay, so I went to the, uh, the, the, the daycare to actually get zigzags because we got a few things that we need to actually uncover right here. Like, first off, if you go up here, you're going to be finding yourself a, a nice prickly thorny tree and all that stuff. I, I used to miss the times... But it was just a tree, and uh, there is a Pokemon right there, which I do not want to capture right now. Eventually, yeah, again, guys, I'm going to be capturing Pokemon off-screen, and then the rest, you know, the on-screen guys are going to be, uh, well, they're going to be li a little bit later on right here, so I'm not going to go for you. Here we found ourselves another, another nice revive, and, uh, well, let's go right ahead and go back downstairs right here, and of course, a lot of people, a lot of Pokemon are just going to be coming out wanting to catch or wanting to battle me so I'm gonna be going this other area right here let's see and here we found a great ball which is always nice for us to get to and uh, well actually no actually not oh, crud I probably I, yeah I should have said yes god dang it okay so here we have an oddish may capture two of them because uh, yeah those sunstones are gonna come in handy and, uh, well, there's one of each probably everywhere, so I'm going to be going up right here. And uh, let's go down here. Now, there is one more thing you need to get, and it's of big importance. As you can see right here, there is a little sparkly area right there. You guys already know what it is. I'm just going to grab it. Here we found ourselves the Mawilite. It says it all, you know. Get yourself a Mawile, and you will actually get your uh, Mega Mawile, and I think it's in this version you can actually 
you can actually find it around here somewhere. It's a pretty rare Pokemon and all that stuff. So here we are in Verdant Turf Town. Now, let's see. Verdant Turf Town, the wind sweep highlands with the sweet fragrance of grass. It's a, it's a, it's a whole bunch of words right there. So a few things. You got the contest hall right here that you can actually go for. I believe it's a normal rank or something like that. But the other thing too is you can actually find Barry's uh, uncle's house right here. Let's see, with the way the winds blow, volcanic ash is never blown in this direction. That means the air is clean and delicious here. It could surely do wonders for the trail in Sickly. Or the frail in Sickly. Wow. And uh, let's see, what does this say? Uh, Wanda's house. Okay, so this this is probably it. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and talk to this guy right here. He's like, oh, so you did come to visit. If you're looking for Wally, though, I'm afraid he's gone. After he lost you in Mawvile? He said that he'd uh, train more, and we haven't seen him since. It must be his Pokemon that gave, uh, that have uh, lit such a fire in this boy and given him so much hope for, uh, for to live for. Wow, so much words. And uh, well, my, my daughter's boyfriend is a very driven and passionate sort of person. He's been digging the tunnel nonstop just so he could see my daughter. My daughter's a little concerned, so she goes out to the, to the tunnel a lot. So if you guys remember, we were going, or we were in the Verdant Turf Tunnel. There was a few boulders right over there, and uh, the only problem is we don't have, well, we do have Rock Smash. The only problem is we don't have the badge to use Rock Smash, so that is something. And, uh, well, little girl here is like, my shroomage got lost. It disappeared around the sign. Where did it go? Hmm, I wonder, okay, around the sign. I wonder if I can actually find it. I don't know. Well... Let's go ahead and take a look at something else right here, and uh, I don't know if this lady gives us anything. Let me see how friendly your Pokemon is towards you. And let's see. Oh, your Pokemon! It's getting used to you. It seems to believe in you. Okay. Uh, who? Wait, who's my first Pokemon? Oh, of course, Raiden. <laughs> All right, let's go with the guy that I got first. Okay, let's see what we got. Uh, oh, your Pokemon seems to be very happy. It's obvious, obviously friendly towards you. Okay, so she won't give us anything right now because, uh, yeah, our Pokemon are... Yeah, our Pokemon are still new to us and they kind of maybe don't like us. I, I don't even know. They probably, like, secretly hate me or something like that. I don't know. So, let's see. Far away, deep in Evergrande City is the Pokemon League. The trainers who gather there are all friendly, well-skilled. Okay. And what do you have to say? In the Pokemon League, the rules say you have to battle the Elite Four all in a row. If you lose to any of them, you have to begin your challenge all over again from the first one. Which is true. But it could prove beneficial because that's extra extra level ups right there. The only thing is that you lose. And where is this god dang Shroomish? Ah, it's not here somewhere. Okay, so... We can't do anything in the Verdant Turf area. Let's see, my papa told me this town is full of timid Pokemon that get all scared and of loud noises and make quite a big uproar. So they had to stop the big tunnel and uh, the big tunnel project. So there's a one man who's still trying to dig uh, the tunnel by himself. That is true, Wanda's boyfriend. And uh, well, let's go ahead and use another repel because I really don't want to battle any other Pokemon. And uh, all right, let's go and Battle this guy right here. What do you call a man who lives among the mountain crags? A mountain man, right? So why don't they call Pokemon the, the that climb steep cliffs Pokragmoa? Pokragmom. Uh, because it's not Digimon. It really isn't. So that kind of sounds like a Digimon right there. Pokragmom. <gasps> okay, so here we go. Going up against a Geodude. And we all know that it might have Sturdy. So we might have to... Uh, let's see. What do we have to do right here? Let's go... Leaf Blade, let's get it. Oh yeah, Leaf Blade for the win. Look at that. That's how you do it right there. It's all fine and dandy. It's all games. He didn't have Sturdy, and he's going to be coming out with a Machop right there. So let's go straight for Gaia. I haven't used you in a while, and already it's at level 22. I just realized that. And uh, funny thing is, it's close to evolving again. That's freaking awesome. That's why I chose the female guy right here in this episode because it's gonna be a while before we get the certain stone to evolve our male guy and all that stuff. And uh, well, I could get it for my Alpha Zapphire walkthrough, but I think you guys kind of want me to do this all natural or something like that. 
eventually we'll find the, the, the stones and evolve all the Pokemon and all that stuff. And uh, look at that. Toxic Batman grows a level 24. Learning Swift, which is good. Very good for us. So, let's see. Um, oh, wow. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's go with uh, that. Confuse Ray kind of... It never really works, but it's still something. It is. And there we go. We defeated Hiker Mike, and he ran out of power. That's awesome. Okay, so let's see. We're going to be going up here, and we've, we're going to find another item. And, well, if you can see the little hole right there right behind me, that's where you can make the secret base. And, uh, well, eventually I will be making a secret base. That way I can, like, hoard off to you guys so you can find me on your games. And, let's see. On the other side of this rock, my boyfriend labors day after day. He He's not just digging this tunnel to come see me. He works his hands raw and tough for the benefit of everyone. Now that's a keeper right there. Yeah, if only we had a Pokemon that knows how to use Rock Smash. If we asked it, it could break up these boulders in no time flat. Well, we do have Rock Smash. The only problem is we don't have a... Yeah, we don't have that... That what you call it? That badge, that pesky badge. Okay, so we're gonna be going right here because there is a little something that you can actually find, and uh, that is this guy right here. He's looking for his glasses. Drop my glasses. Can you help me find them? All right, all right. Let's go ahead and find these glasses. And uh, no. Okay, so the signal was like right here. There it is. Okay, so I found myself some black glasses. I wonder if these are the ones that, you know, he needs, although he's wearing some glasses. I dropped my glasses. Can you find them? Uh, those glasses. May I take a... May I see them for a second? These are black glasses. They're not what I'm looking for. Maybe my glasses aren't around here. Bro, you're wearing glasses. Uh, okay, so let's see. Another area right here where you can actually find some... Uh, some whatchamacallit, some... Uh, whatchamacallit, uh, secret bases and all that stuff. So this is a good place. Very, very good place. And, uh, well, I'm gonna try and, I'm gonna try and give you guys a good, uh, idea where my secret base will be. I just haven't found it yet. So, that is pretty much it right here. And, uh, well, yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode right here, guys. It's a very nice episode, about 30 minutes long and all that crud. In the next episode, we will be going into the cycling road and, uh, battle a few more trainers. I know that my, tra my Pokemon are beefed up and everything but i kind of want to do like i want to do side quests before we go into the next batch so yeah that's probably what we're gonna do so thank you guys for watching i will see you guys in the next episode see you guys